Hey guys, Tech Mentor with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue if your Wi Fi is grayed out or has a cross line over it and you can't connect to Wi Fi now. There could be a multiple reasons why this is happening, but in this video, we're going to walk you through the troubleshooting steps necessary to fix this if it's a software related issue that is impacting your connectivity. So let's get started. So, first thing you want to do if you're having the issue where you simply can't connect, it's just grayed out is go ahead and pull down from the top of the menu here or you can simply go into settings here and we want to turn on airplane mode. You can pull it down from here and click on that button and give it about let's say somewhere between 30 seconds or so and what this is really doing is airplane mode tries to shut down all of your network settings on your phone for a moment so that it can resolve any issue and after 30 seconds or so you can turn it back off by clicking that or pulling down from here and click on it. And hopefully this time, if you try to connect to Wi-Fi, you can connect to the Wi-Fi and this gray, it's not grayed out anymore. So that's fix number one. Now, fix number two, it's gonna be giving your phone a fresh reboot by doing a force restart. So to do that, you're gonna press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down on your left-hand side. And then you're gonna hold this big side button on your right-hand side till the screen goes completely black and then the Apple logo will appear and then we'll let go of it. So in real time, you're gonna press the volume up and then press the volume down and then hold the side button. And as you can see, this process is happening right now. We're holding that side button, as I mentioned, and we're gonna not slide to power up. We just simply wait till the screen goes completely black and don't worry about it. Keep on holding that button and then let go once you see that Apple logo. And again, this does a clean reboot where it shuts off the phone completely. It's not a, it's different from a normal shutdown, but basically reloads the code to fix any software issue that the phone may be experiencing after an update or over time. It's good to just simply do that. Once you do that, Go ahead and get back into your phone by putting your passcode in and you should have that issue resolved. Now, the next thing you wanna do if you're still having the issue is hop over to settings and then this time in the settings, you're gonna look for screen time here. And if you have screen time enabled for some reason, you wanna check out content and privacy restriction. And here basically, as you can see here, there's things you can restrict, but for our purpose, you're gonna click on that content or restriction or you can also do it from here. We're gonna turn that off for a moment so that there is nothing being restricted on the device here in terms of even the network here. And hopefully by then it resolves your issue. Now, let's say you're still having the issue. What can you do? The next thing you can do is again, go into settings one more time. And then in the settings here, this time we're gonna scroll down to general here and then go all the way down here where it says reset or transfer reset iPhone, you're gonna click on that. Once you click on that, there's gonna be a menu just like this. We're gonna see this option for reset. So we're gonna click on the first option here. Once we do that, we get a bunch of these menu for reset. The one that we wanna first do is network, uh, as you can see here, reset network setting, which is the second option. And this will give, take about a minute or two. What will happen is it will delete all of your network that was connected in the past, like your Wi-Fi or VPN settings, all those say password will be deleted, but none of your data, like your photos, videos, apps, anything on your phone that's your personal data, it won't be deleted. So you can do that to kind of resolve the issue. Now, after you have done that and you're still having the issue, the other reset that you wanna to try to do is this reset all setting if the network one didn't do it. And that will reset things like the network, the keyboard, the home screen layout, and your privacy and location setting as well, but it will not delete any data like photos, videos, apps, and your documents, anything like that. Just to the reset of all the settings back to you know, default, but your personal data will be there, no issue there. So you wanna try those. Now, after those, if it's still having an issue, it's time to go back again to settings again. This time we're gonna general, do a quick software update by looking to see if there's an update available if you're connected of course, make sure you're connected to cellular data this time because if you're not connected to Wi-Fi, you need to make sure that you're connected so this won't show up. So make sure you have a good cellular connection. And you should see either a software update out there, like this one, for example, we have iOS 16.3 out available at the time of recording. We'll click on download and install and you wanna make sure your phone is up to date with the latest software version because what happens is sometimes with previous versions, there could be an issue that broke the 
actual Wi-Fi connection through the software and this is where it will resolve it. Now, if none of these work completely and you still have a grayed out issue, well, the last thing you can pretty much do is back up your device. So you're gonna do either backup through your iCloud or iTunes on your computer. And then after you back it up, first make sure you back it up. So well, the next thing you wanna do is go to general and then setting general and then all the way down here where it says transfer or reset iPhone. You wanna do this erase all content and setting. And the reason why you would do this, now this will delete everything on your phone like photos, videos, apps like that. That's why you want to do is a backup first before you do that. And then once you do a full erase all content and setting, which will set it back to factory default, you'll take that backup that you have either through iCloud or iTunes and then recover from that. That's a more advanced stuff which we cover in another video. You guys want to check that out. So hopefully by in this video, you're issue for the Wi-Fi is fixed. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Also, let us know if you guys found a better way to fix this issue for everyone to know as well. So thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.